Okay, welcome peeps to Rusty and Nelly's Jungle. In this episode, we're going to show you how to turn these magic beans. Actually, better yet, we're going to show you how to turn these on this into this massive castor bean plant, which we purchased last year. It was about a foot tall, um, and it topped out at 10.5 feet. So... Um, and then we harvested these. They're little seed pods. And they're kind of pointy, so you gotta be careful. And you're just gonna get your seed pod, you're gonna open it up like this, and inside you're going to have some seeds. Okay, so see, that's the seed. Hopefully you can see it, that's the seed. And we're just gonna pull that puppy out, like that. And that's what the seed looks like. So we got like that, we're going to do it to many of them and we're gonna have hundreds and hundreds. We've got an entire bag full. So this is what we are going to plant and they're gonna look very, kind of like that. So hopefully we can focus on that. We just lost one man down. Okay, so what we're gonna do with these is move this over. Move all this out of the way. Okay, so now, just by, so you guys can see, it's 22 degrees in here. So maybe 80 degrees, 59 degrees, and 59% <laughs> humidity. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're simply, these are moist trays, and we are simply going to get one of the beans and we're gonna just poke it in, boom, and just lightly cover it. So it's very close. I'll do one more close up so you guys can see. We're gonna poke it in like this, so it's still there, and just lightly cover the top. So we're not gonna put it too deep, and we're gonna keep them moist, because the key is to, to activate it, to keep it in a nice warm tray, nice warm soil, and uh, so that it starts growing. So, what can we expect in maybe a week is you're gonna expect something like that. And you can see, poking through we can see oh hopefully you can see there's nice roots and you can see that's not the leaf there so don't think that's a leaf that's a membrane out it's inside the shell but um, the leaf is inside that so that's not your leaf let's try and pull it I'm just what I'm gonna do in this one I'm just gonna show you so this is about a week of it being underground and I just want to show you I wouldn't do this if I was you but I just want to show you what a week's growth may look like. Okay, so you can see that there's lots of roots. And remember, that is not what you see there coming through is not the leaf, that's a membrane. So we can pull this off. Um, so the leaf is gonna be inside this weird pod protector. The leaf is inside there. So we're gonna bury that again. Again, I just brought that out just for your visual enjoyment, just so you guys could see where we are. Okay, so I just planted some new ones there. These are about a week. So we've got these in for about a week and you can see they're all growing happily. And next step, about, I don't have the actual leaf popping out. I wish I did, but probably about three weeks, we're going to have this. So these, were, these two leaves were inside that pod that you saw and it's grown obviously two new leaves and it's growing a third right in there. So this is gonna be, I would say about three weeks um, from seed being in. You're gonna should see something like that, depending on the temperature. Now this room is nice and warm, so um, we've got some great results. Final, final, so we got a month. In one month, ah, ooh. So what do you think? In one month, that's what we got and we are gonna grow hundreds of these because, because you get, every plant has got like four or five of these and in each pod is four. So just simply do the math. You, we ended up with buckets of these things, like handfuls and handfuls. So we're just gonna continue to pot these and continue to have a bunch of castor beans, which we extremely love, but we may have too many. We may have to give some away. So last but not least is growing tips. How do you grow these? Well, these plants can grow leaves this big in first year. 
Um, and of course they are, they are annuals because they will die outside unless you bring them in <laughs> like we did. Uh, they are annuals, um, but they get lots of seeds and that's how we can continue to grow them every year. But their leaves are gigantic like that. Anything with massive leaves needs lots of water. If you get a hot day and the soil is dry, the roots are dry, the plant, it can almost lose the leaves in a day. So it's so I wouldn't keep them soggy, but I would certainly always keep them moist, like in a maybe a lower area, not on top of the hill, but maybe at the bottom of the hill. And I'd keep an eye on them and lots of sun. Anything with big leaves, they, they want lots of sun. So as much sun as you can give them, as long as you're going to be able to keep them watered. If you're not going to be able to keep them watered, maybe keep them in a little shade. You're not going to maybe get 10, 12 feet high and maybe the leaves won't be as big, but at least the plant will make it. So that's the growing tip, sun and lots of water. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe we'll do an update for this as it grows bigger. I do, before we leave, I want to show you the thickness of how they can grow. Uh, and I'm gonna do an overlap with my voice here of the thickness of how thick these things can grow um, inside that we have inside our little tropical plant. You can see that the girth is extreme. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us on this channel. We'll bring you more great tips of how to grow stuff from seeds yourself. Take care.